I believe that, that music ennobles us as, as people. I think that it, it taps into um, our souls. I think that it reaches places that uh, other media can't reach. It expresses things that otherwise aren't expressible. And I think for students, it gives them a place to, to be creative, to find friendships, to work together, um, to put their self-interests aside and come together with a group of people to create something that's, that's larger than themselves. Kevin Lloyd is just magic. Um, everything that he does, he just, he takes everything from one level to the next and he has worked so hard and so passionately and everyone knows how a teacher gives of his or her time, but uh, just what he has brought to Leonore um, and expanded the program way beyond this, this classroom, he is deserving of this award. I've been in the band for four years, so he's the teacher at Leonore that knows me the best. Throughout my four years, I have really gone back and forth between like figuring out what I wanna do when I grow up, and I truly think that with all the opportunities that he's given me and all the, you know, um, just everything, he's really made me feel that like I can do this. So he's definitely given me the passion. I think if I were to compare my teaching to a popular song and something to which, um, you know, your average person could relate and something that I think inspires a lot of teachers, it would be the Stevie Wonder song, Higher Ground. That tune, I, I think, has a lot of meaning for teachers because it talks about always trying to to uh, reach for the next level, you know. And I think as teachers, one of the things that we're constantly trying to do is to assess where our students are and then determine what that next rung on the ladder is going to be. One of the advantages, I think, of, of doing what I do as a teacher is that in most cases, I have students over a four-year period of time. So it's not just a semester or a year when I have these kids, but it's a relationship that builds, you know, from, from really with, from, from eighth grade or earlier all the way through their senior year of high school. He is a leader because of the way that he um, is very modest about his craft and about his talent and that he is a master teacher, but yet he supports his colleagues and he admires his colleagues. He talks very fondly of them and how, you know, this is such a family here and how they support one another. This is my 29th year of, of teaching in Frederick County Public Schools and I'm very proud to teach here. Both of my children went through school here. Um, my wife teaches here. We're, we have been Frederick County people for a long time. And I believe that we have an outstanding um, school system in terms of our, uh, the, the equity that we provide in terms of student education, the innovation that we have. I think that we're a school system that is progressive, that is always looking for the next good idea while not abandoning things that are tried and true. Um, I teach with just a world-class faculty you know, at, at Lingonor High School. And so I see this as an opportunity to represent them and represent the excellence that they bring to the classroom every day. And so I think first and foremost, it's an honor to be the representative from my school. And, um, and I think anybody in Frederick County who would have the opportunity, you know, to represent um, the thousands of, of, of amazing teachers that we have in this system would take that on, I think, with a great deal of, of humility, you know, because we all do, um, we all do our best, and there are there are lots and lots of people doing incredible work out there. So I think it's really difficult to single out a single person. I think that there are hundreds and hundreds of teachers at any given time in Frederick County who would make outstanding representatives, and if I have the opportunity to be that, it would be a great honor.